Hello all, uh, welcome to the 2021 virtual plowing match hosted by the Farm Pig. Uh, my name is Jim Lauderdale. I am this year's farm chair and I wanna thank you all for attending uh, this session, Plowing Match Committee, which consisted of Bob Powell as the head judge, Ed Schultz as a judge, Bill, Cliff Jones, both judges, and Klaus Kropp as our video editor. Well, thank you for that, Jim. And hello everybody from Ed Schultz in Virginia and from me, Bob Powell here in Scotland. Welcome to the results of Alfam's first virtual plowing match. Instigated by our Al family member, Klaus Kropp from Lorisham, Germany, this was a totally new concept for us. Although we had an idea of what we wanted, we had little or no idea of who or what the entries would be. In the end, we had 15 people enter from five different locations, four from the USA and one from Germany. The entries gave us a dilemma, for although we had an initial idea in our heads, judging was not as easy as we anticipated. However, we had, as said, 15 interesting, but in some respects, different entries. And now, on with our decisions. In the second category, the Equines Assisted Novice Class, we say well done to Abigail Gidi, Technical Assistant from Horry County Museum's L. W. Paul Living History Farm in South Carolina. Abby only ploughed for the first time in December 2020. Watch out for the lining up poles between Minnie the Mule's ears. We will come across Abby again later as we will her director Walter Hill and her colleagues to reveal the great overall entry that they made. In this fourth and last of the main categories, the equines unassisted, it is our first real encounter and congratulations to Walter Hill, director from Horry County Museum's L. W. Paul Living History Farm. As will become apparent, Walter is not only a proficient plowman, but an able mentor for his staff. We have already met Abigidi and there are more of his team to come. We look forward to hearing more in the future about Walter and his colleagues and hope that they continue to contribute to Alfam.
As in our introduction, for various reasons, it was not possible to wholly judge in the way that we had anticipated. Therefore, we decided to introduce some different categories to recognize the efforts of more of the entrants. You know, a hundred years ago here in Scotland, it was normal to make other, often less serious awards at the horse plowing matches. These included best dressed or best looking plowman, plowman who had come the furthest, most recently married plowman, oldest or youngest plowman. Prizes included new boots, groceries, tobacco, or maybe a new pocket knife. We have not got quite such awards for this year, but see what you think. We are already aware of the entries from Horry County Museum and their L.W. Paul Living History Farm. And, like a clean sweep at the Oscars, so their awards continue. This award is for excellence in video production, and we are awarding it to Abby Geedy, whose name appears on the museum's various submissions. The entries not only took our initial guidance into consideration, but the videos went far above our expectation in quality and informative content. Well done to Abby and her colleagues. Now we come on to the award for the most informative entry. As already hinted at, the most informative entries came from Horry County Museum, L.W. Paul Living History Farm. And of these, the one we chose was the introduction from the museum's director and plowman, Walter Hill. Within Walter's explanations, one was for how they use a plough stake to not only sight their opening furrow, but also because the stake has marked measurements, it can be used to measure ploughing widths. Very interesting. Hey folks, I'm Walter Hill, director of the Horry County Museum and L.W. Paul Living History Farm in Conway, South Carolina. Here at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm, we represent the time period between 1900 and 1955 with a focus on the 30s and 40s, uh, primarily focusing on agriculture in Horry County in the 30s and 40s. So uh, this week we're going to be working with museum staff to put in some uh, uh, plowing competition footage for you. Hope you like it. See you soon. So I want to make a few quick comments about how we're keeping ourselves straight. Here in Horry County, we often plow to plow stakes. So you see I've got one stake stuck in the ground here, which might be about three quarters of the way down your field. And uh, behind me at the other end of the field would be a second stake. They're nice and tall so we can see them from a walking position over the mule's head. In order to stay straight, we would line ourselves, our plow and our mule up with this plow stake and plow to the first stake, hoping to keep it nice and straight. With two stakes, if we begin to see the second stake, we know we're getting off course and we can correct ourselves. Once we get to the first stake, you'll note we've got hash marks on it here. Those are measured out in six inch increments. We can take the stake out of the ground, lay it over, use it to measure off the next row, reapply the stake and plow on to the next point. So we'll be able to get our lines nice and straight, get our furrows nice and straight and at the equal distance apart. So when we come around, we'll come back and plow to the next stake. So this is how we're competing today. We're setting our plow stakes up at the end of our rows and we're working towards that to try to help ourselves stay nice and straight. Here we return to the L.W. Pole Living History Farm for our Most Impressing Plower Award. This is a further award for Abby Geedy, who is shown here competently plowing unassisted with Minnie the Mule. Bearing in mind that Abby had only ploughed for the first time in December 2020, it is definitely well done Abby. Our next award, and a very well done, is for the most promising plower, to which we are giving it to Abigail Phelps, 
who plowed in the assistant equine class. Abigail only joined the L.W. Paul Living History Farm Museum as their domestic interpreter this year, 2021. This next award we have called our bravest plower for the entrant who showed the most grit and determination not to give in. And again we return to one of Walter Hill's L.W. Paul's team, namely curator Hilary Winburn. Hilary ploughed unassisted and made her mark not only on the field but with us the judges. Hilary's attitude showed just the sort of enthusiasm that we hope that more young people in Alfam will follow to become our new tradition and skills bearers. And finally, our last award, and again for another one of our animal partners. This time it is for the, the equine that the judges would like to take home. It may come as no surprise watching this video that the winner is Minnie the Mule from L.W. Paul's Living History Farm. 17 years old Minnie impressed both Ed and I, and for me a died in the wool Shire Horseman, that is saying something. Minnie worked well. And what a great animal to give experience to the farm's team. Minnie wholly deserves her award. <laughs> now we are at the conclusion of our event. Firstly, and most importantly, a huge thank you to all of you who have participated in the ploughing match. And finally, from Ed and I as judges, thank you to the other members of our All Family team for your input and skill in pulling this production together. May we all continue to speed the plough for years to come. Thank you.